Hello and welcome to Cassette Beasts, where we are going to go see Ianthe eventually. Let's just uh, stop by here first. So, you washed up on New Wirral after being shipwrecked in a storm, right? Yes. That is correct. And you're looking for your twin brother, Sebastian. This just sounds really familiar and I don't know why. Are you famous? Have we met before? <laughs> I can assure you that I am no one of notori notoriety or interest. As for whether we've met, I'm sure I would remember someone as spirited as thee, Eugene. I guess so. Still, your story seems so familiar. Alright, let's fill up on the rewinds. And, um, let's go see Ianthe. Wow. Do you miss it? Life in the big city, I mean. I know I do. It certainly was more exciting. But that doesn't mean life was better. I lived my whole life in a mega metropolis. The only trees I had seen were made in factories. The stars had long been blotted out by the skyscrapers and their neon facades. The value of life was fleeting and you had to harden your spirit if you wanted to stay alive in such a cruel world. You can imagine that when I first landed here, it took a long time for me to get used to this pace of life. <laughs> That's a bit more of an answer than I was expecting, boss. Something on your mind? Yeah. I have all the stamps. Do you have a completed stamp card to show me, perhaps? Yep. <laughs> so the chatter was correct. You haven't been here long, but you've already shown a real knack for traversing the island and overcoming any obstacle. Congratulations. You're officially a ranger. Cool. I'm happy for you, mate. I'm afraid we don't have any special ceremonies to mark the occasion. We're too busy training new recruits so that we can deal with those rogue fusions. You know... We could use more people like you helping with the training. Have you ever thought about becoming a captain? Not really. If you're interested, there's one final challenge. You have to defeat me in combat. Oh. Well... What do you say? Do you want to take on the trial to become a ranger captain? Sure. Right. I've been itching to see what you're really made of. I hope you're prepared to give us your all. Who are you fighting alongside? Well, I think it'd only be reasonable that my wife gets to help me out on this one. 
You're married. Hey. Are you ready, honey? Yes, dear. Yeah. This is really shaping up to be the hottest fight of the year. Who will come out on top? <laughs> you got this one. Come on. Show Yante who's boss. Kick your ass, Yante. Don't hold back. <laughs> Don't think we're gonna pull any punches. You're not a trainee anymore. You're in the big leagues now. Good luck. Oh, wow. So that's the form that we saw like way back when when we first met Ian there is it I think it is oh no confused We just glass cannon it or maybe maybe something like this. Oh wow. And you need target as well. I didn't completely fill up on the rewinds. That could be a problem. They're so much higher level than us. I guess, does that mean that we um, weren't quite supposed to do this yet? Well, if we lose, we'll come back when we're like 10 levels higher up. Oh, Meredith. Guneko? Astral versus Astral. So Astrals energize each other as well then. The uni target is so annoying. Mm. I guess we'll go with the beat down. That did something at least. Nice that it didn't miss. Oh, Meredith. 
Mall, Delacour. Should we fierce? I'm kind of thinking maybe we should fierce. Although, if we do fears, I get the uni target. Oh well. Miasgar. Or Myaspor, or <laughs> however you'd pronounce that. Ooh, nice. Hit it even though we had the uni target. That's great. Rewind. At least we're not poisoned anymore. Hmm, more glass cannon. Yeah, I think so. Oh no. Ugh. Please. Oh, good job. Do we have any more rewinds? One. We're almost at. 10 AP though. Fusion power. We could do this. You need target on you for a change. Nice. Oh no, confused. Well, let's try. Nice. She has a third form. Wow. Glass cannon. Oh. What? You thought you were the only ones who could fuse? Well, they are married. Okay, that was confusing. Shining Kuneko got Cosmic Kunai. Nice. Dracula got Vampire. And Mothmanic got energy wave. We also got headshot. An uncommon version. More accuracy. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. You never fail to impress, do you? The stories were true. What a battle. Here, this is yours. Captain's badge. This means you're officially a ranger captain. Folks will look to you to help train them, just like the other captains trained you. You might be aware that I was the first person in New Wirral to have transformed into a monster form with a cassette tape. Since then, folks have been asking me the same question. Huh? How does this cassette tape thing even work? It doesn't make any sense. 
You want to know what I think? I think it makes perfect sense with the right perspective. Humans create art, such as music. Art is an intangible and imaginary thing that exists entirely within our collective imagination. Then, we seal that intangible music in physical forms, such as the cassette tape. That makes it a perfect bridge between the physical world and the imaginary one. I think that makes sense in a way. You've seen the notice board outside the town hall, right? If there are any trainees who need to test their skills, I'll leave you a message there. <sighs> For now, I'm going to take a long overdue rest. If you're going to continue your exploration across the island, why don't you catch up with your fellow captains? I'm sure they'd like to congratulate you on your promotion. <sighs> catch up with each of the captains. Okay. Um. Actually, rather than going camping, Let's go back to the cafe and heal there. <laughs> what a brave new world to have such animals such as you in it. And now I'm actually going to fill up on the rewinds. And there we go. Au revoir. And uh, we need a lot of healing. Hey. The gramophone cafe always reminds me of my dad. He'd brew a pot of coffee every morning before heading into London for work. So that coffee smell is kind of seared into my brain. Well, that sounds nostalgic. I guess so. I can never tell if I miss my parents. We never had a huge amount in common. They grew up in a different time and a different place. I guess there was a big generational divide. It's not my fault my parents listened to incredibly bad music. When I moved out to go to college, we didn't really stay in touch. That's okay. That sounds kinda lonely. I suppose it is. You know, I don't have many strong memories of growing up. I had friends and life experiences, but thinking back on those memories... It always feels like something that was just happening around me, not something I was participating in. Like, I've never been fully in the pilot seat. I guess I was an uncool kid, then an uncool teenager. As for being an adult... <laughs> well, there's still time to see how I do at this. Maybe I just need to make more friends whilst I'm here in New Wirral. Ugh. No one ever tells you growing up that making friends as an adult is hard. Well, at least we're friends. Is 
it's easier with us. We have like a hobby together. We do. Yeah, we're looking for a magic world portal. That's a hobby, right? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I hope we'd still hang out, even if we didn't find your doorway. Of course we would. <laughs> cool. Huh, I'm more tired than I thought. Do you think transforming and battling counts as exercise? I guess it's pretty exhausting. Anyway, let's go and hang out together and punch monsters and stuff. I love her a lot. Fusions you form with Meredith now have plus 15% added strength. Meredith and Felix are absolutely my favorites. Um, so, I guess both Galagor and Kuneko have reached their final forms? I'd kinda like to keep Kuneko though, but also, I'd kinda like to get experience on on some other form as well. We have so many here. Would be cool to see what the Alphalus gets um, transformed into. But um... I think we're taking the Muscretier. So many. Oh, spooky or not. You know what? I think we're going with Spooky Ona. And uh, we need to check their stickers. Smack and Peekaboo. And uh, you're clearly more melee than ranged, I guess. Uh, I guess you should have a wall, shouldn't you? Yeah, let's give you this. And uh, some sort of a melee attack. ranged but I think yep your speed is better than your melee attack so icicle dot is good for you spooky honor max HP and um, mm, are you a teeny bit more ranged than melee I don't know they're pretty equal but um HP is her best stat. Hmm. Snow Rush wouldn't be bad, I guess. Does damage to the enemy and heals a little bit. Hmm. 
You have jagged edge there. Do you also have the um, dodge? That increases evasion because if you do, you do, okay. So dodge plus jagged edge wouldn't be bad. I guess hurricane to destroy walls. Oh, it took us way down here on the list. Now let's see. Headshot? Could be. Especially when fused. But when fused, we tend to have the fusion power. Hmm, I guess we should give you a wall too. And then, what else? Should we go for the uh, dodge plus jagged edge? I guess lightning bolt is nice. wave does hit a whole team instead of just one person they shift hmm. maybe we'd like to replace you already have dodge equipped so if we just replace one thing with the jagged edge didn't we have like a special version of it like um there it is all right so that's both of you guys ready? Aha, uh -huh, what's up? You know Edward, right? He runs the farm with his wife just over Piper Creek. On one of his walks through the marsh, he found a caved in mine entrance. It's weird, right? We've never done any mining in the marsh. It is weird. Huh. Maybe we should check it out. Also, I guess I should bond with um, some people other than oh, Meredith. Considering I'm already up to three hearts with Meredith. Yeah, let's go and check out this mine entrance. It might be another railway station. With another archangel in it. It's awfully close to the graveyard railway station, though. I guess we could have just teleported there. Well, we're already almost there, so let's keep walking.
But yeah, I guess it would have been quicker to teleport to the graveyard railway station and then go from there to... Oh, a rogue fusion, you say? Well... Oh no, and a trap worm as well. Um... Don't want to give him poison uh, coating or, or like a, you know, ability to deal poison damage. These are such high level too. Jeez. I wonder if we uh, bit off a little more than we can chew here. Well, at least we should get good exp out of this fight. And that's what we're after, right? We wanna level up those monster forms. Hmm. Jeez. Ow. Of course, she didn't get the evasion off or he didn't uh musketeer sure bicycle dot Jeez. Oh. Well, keep on glass cannoning, I think. Wow. Okay, I got a heal. Too late. Ow. Ah. Uh, dodge. They get three attacks on me every round. Gotta see if I can dodge some of them. That would have been a great one to dodge, by the way. Uh, broadcast? I think it makes sense because there are three targets. So if we have multi-target, we can hit them all with a single attack. Uh, that would have been a great one to dodge. Good. Rewind. And next turn, we attack. Hopefully. Good dodge. Ah, uh, that would have been a good one to dodge too. Ah, uh, thunder blast. We'll start here and then it should hit everybody. Oh my gosh. 
Are you kidding me? Ugh, nice dodge. Good, good. One versus one. Oh, good dodge. All right. What do we, Rachel? Yep. Totally. And, um, fight? Bicycle dot? Fight? Nice. Like a bull in a china shop, landing a beast type attack on a glass type opponent, scatter sharp obstacles across the battlefield. While it is in effect, any characters that use a melee attack will take damage from, from the glass shards on the battlefield. Okay. Victory, but... Okay, Muskrateer got zoomies. Spooky Ana got life absorb. I want to equip that, actually. Oops, wrong button. I meant to go equip the life absorb. Well, I guess it's pretty clear that we need to heal here. So let's do that. Eugene and you discuss new potential battle strategies. All right then. We barely won that battle. Um, right. Spooky Anna. What do we replace? Hurricane's nice because it destroys walls. Energy wave? Day shift is nice because I do want to keep in the party one person at least who can hit ghosts. I guess we replace the headshot. It hardly gets used. Whereas this one would definitely get used often. Alright. And uh, Robin them. I guess you got the suction cup dot. Ooh, nice. Power of 120. But only 75% accuracy. When it lands though, it'll do a nice bit of damage. So, nobody's at 5 stars yet. Um... Let's Bonjour. replenish the rewinds. Did I only use two? I guess I did. Well. There we go. Au revoir. And I was thinking I'd save the game here. But actually. Um, before we end the episode. We've got quite a few upgrades. So maybe we should use them. We could use one on the Mothmanic. Get it to five stars magnet. And the others maybe on the uh, Draculeaf leech. I kind of want to equip that. 
but instead of what? Instead of icicle dot? would be smack, jump scare and fight. I guess we could work with that. We could do jump scare and fight kind of on alternative terms. Sure. Let's get you to five stars. Deja vu. Multi strike would be nice too. But I don't know what we'd uh, replace um let's save that last upgrade and we'll see if um if either of those forms can be remastered any further doesn't look like it so i guess even though I really like both of them a lot. I do want to level up the others that we've got. So... Undying. Sure. Let's just make sure that they are battle ready, which Undying is definitely not. is a, more of a ranged attacker and she's got good HP too. Headshot. Um, so ranged attack and HP are her good stats. I guess Fog could be useful. And Torrent, absolutely. Torrent is amazing. There it is. Bite. Ooh. Bite. you bite or something else nurse I guess you should have a wall shouldn't you so it's gonna be water wall, isn't it? I think it'll have to be. Yeah. We'll go with this. I guess you can do spit and torrent as your attacks. And uh, Rat Kozo? You're kind of an all-around good one, except not very fast. Right, so melee or ranged doesn't really matter. We'll give you bite. Absolutely. There you go. And... 
and um, what else? Sharp edges and dodge would be nice ones. Jagged edge too. With the dodge. I guess you do need a wall though, don't you? Oh, you already had an ordinary plastic wall. Well, that's better. So we'll replace this. Plastic knife? Sure. Hmm. We could maybe replace parry stands with dodge. But uh, we'll keep it like that for now. What's up? Mount Wirral is pretty tall, huh? I heard there was some kind of crazy lighthouse at the top. What do you think is up there? Did we see a lighthouse at the top? There was that cave. But I don't think there was a lighthouse. Unless the cave is the lighthouse. Well... We'll, um, save the game here, and I guess next time we'll try to actually make it to the mine entrance. Check out what that's all about. And we've also got the uh, monastery ruins to go to as well. And I guess the lighthouse thing, whatever at the top of Mount Wirral. So we have plenty to do actually. And also revisit the ranger captains too. So we'll get on to the mine entrance thing next time. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.